So hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another thrift store prepper video and it's just going to be a little short one today. We're going to have a little look at the, the food pantry. Um, as you can see, look, we've had to extend to the top um, and we just recently did the Holiday Hundy Hall, which we spent a hundred dollars at the No Frills in the Dollar Ram, and we've really, really filled up um, our food pantry. And I think this is like the third week update. So um, let's just have a little look at what we've got going on here, and we might have to look at some solutions to uh, rearranging this in in order to make some space, or looking into getting a, a larger container to keep it all in. So no further ado, let's have a little look in the bottom. So here you can see the top is uh, filled with luncheon meat and there's 12 cans there and underneath we have a variety of some other canned items, some Chef Boyardee there, we've got some beans, um, we've got some canned potatoes, some canned carrots, a couple of cans of soup, some chilli. Um, so, you know, just a variety of, of uh, canned items. In, in the bulk items here are definitely the luncheon meat. Uh, this red one here was a dollar thirty-seven compared to the dollar store one, which was dollar fifty. But we've got 12 cans there, and I think in total we've got 30-something cans in that one, that one drawer. So, you know, if you had only one can a day, there, there's a month worth of food right there. So closing that one up. This one's going to take a little bit of a... There we go. So basically in here is my um, dried products. I've tried to keep a little bit of separation. So we've got the cans at the bottom and that, that, that's also for the weight. Um, in here we've got our oats, we've got our dried milk, we've got our peanuts, our pasta, our couscous, um, our dried mashed potatoes, and I threw in where I've got space some of these little accessory packs that I made the other week. Um, so there you go, that's pretty much all that's in there. I'm not going to start taking things out because it took me a little while to get everything in there. Um, and shut the shut the drawer. So as you can see, we're going to have to look at maybe some some possible rearrangements uh, to to utilize space some more. So here we go. We've got a a full drawer of ramen, and this is something I think we might have to definitely look into because as great as they are, they do take up some space. But I think what we might have to do at some point is start crushing these down and um, repackaging them in the the Mylar bags that I get my weed delivered in. So um, I've got a whole stack of those, so I think that might even be a, be the next project to, to, to look into, and that might save us uh, certainly some room on that one, because that is, that is quite a lot of space taken up just by the ramen. And then these two top drawers here, again, it's one of those that you kind of don't really want to open, so I won't. Uh, you can see that's full, that's got my pancake mix, I've also got, um, actually there you go, we did get open six cans of corned beef, I've got four cans of the cooked ham um, and the instant pancake mix tucked away in the back there and we've got a couple of other things like some crackers in, in jelly, um, I've also got my sugar, some salt and some wet naps that I obtained for free that I made the little packages with my weed bags and used the lighter to heat seal so you know we're keeping everything very very um, thrifty and, and we're, we're using stuff that we're finding for free and stuff that's around the house. Now on top here is pretty much just my trail mix and my raisins um, so there's what at the minute 10, 11 bags of trail mix in there. I'm probably going to eat a bag later on this evening as a Christmas treat. Um, and I've got, I believe, two bags of raisins, maybe three bags of raisins in there. So that's a, that's a good bunch of nuts and berries and fruits to... Um, to be living off of for a while. So, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the moment that with everything I've got here, I could possibly say there's three to four, maybe even five months food if you really had to. I mean, if you had one can of um, 
one can a day if you had one ramen a day that's nearly two months food and then whatever you got in the dry you know there's three big bags of um, minute oats in there we've got the rice we've got dry beans we've got pasta so um you know that again i think you could probably last for a month maybe more on just those dried items and we have here obviously the nuts that there's you know if you we, we looked at the, the nutritional value of just one packet of those in, you know, even if you had just one of those a day, there, there's there's 10 days worth of, of rations there in an emergency. But again, all of this stuff doesn't necessarily have to be used for, for you know, the end of days. This would be quite a, you know, for $150 that I've spent there, this would be a nice homemaker's pantry to have. So you've always got a little bit of... Um, food in, in, in storage uh, for, for any eventuality, you know, if, if you've just had a, you know, an illness or you're out of work and having this much food is going to be one, one less thing to worry about. We'll just have a quick look on top here. So we've got some water bottles that I got filled up. Um, obviously at the moment we still have water, we still have power, so I haven't really worried too much about getting a water um, supply going as of yet. I've got my chicharrones, I've got my pretzels, I've got some M&Ms, I've got my um, cocoa at the back and at the bottom there's uh, another couple of cans of soup, um, peanut butter and jelly. I've got some of my plastic utensils in uh, here at the side. There you go. There are all my uh, weed bag is ready to be utilized for whatever we're going to do. So there you go. Three weeks on since we started this and we've pretty much filled our, our designated space with food. And as I said, I don't know how long you would be able to live off of that, but... There's a shitload in there. You you could you could make that last quite a while if you really had to. And then you know this this is something that I'm going to try to to keep as an emergency. Good luck saving the the trail mix and the chicharrones and certainly the pretzels. That's stuff that I I do eat throughout the days and try to top up as and when. But you know it's it's stuff that if you have got if the you know the power went down tomorrow and the grid was out for a little while. I'm sitting quite comfortably right now. I haven't got to worry too much about about feeding myself. So, with that being said, we're we'll calling it a day. Um, sorry for the poor quality on this video. I am using a a handheld and not my um, crutch cam, which I normally do uh, the videos with. So um, it's a little bit shaky, but you know how we're doing things on a budget and making do with what we've got. So, thanks for watching. This has been a shit video production for the thrift store prepper. See you guys next time.